टूडे वी एंजॉय द स्टोरी ऑफ द अगली डकलिंग वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इट वॉज अ वॉर्म समर डे अ मदर डक हैड हर नेस्ट हिडन इन द ग्रास सेफ फ्रॉम द वेजल्स एंड द फॉक्स शी सेट ऑन हर एग्स वेटिंग फॉर देम टू हैच Finally the eggs got hatched with a pop and peep peep bunch of golden ducklings got appeared The mother duck was very happy to see her ducklings But the largest egg in the nest was still there The mother duck didn't remember laying such a huge egg Suddenly the huge egg cracked open the baby bird was big gray and ugly he had huge feet and a broad beak and didn't look like a duckling other ducklings don't like him as he was ugly a few days later mother duck took her ducklings for a swim the big red duckling also joined other ducklings after a great swim the duck family walked on there into the yard as the gray duckling walked into the yard all the birds started to talk about him every day he was packed and pushed by the ducks and even by the chickens one day the poor ugly duckling couldn't take it anymore so he ran far away from his home at last he ended up in a swamp where only wild ducks lived the wild ducks told him you're an ugly fellow you cannot stay here go away the duckling moved away from those ducks the poor duckling felt very lonely he didn't even move from that place as it was winter the water was so cold and he got stuck in the swamp as it froze in the morning a farmer who came that way rescued the duckling and took him to his home but the duckling was terrified he fluttered into the milk vessel and splashed it all over the room the farmer's wife got furious and chased him out into cold the duckling went back to the swamp he spent a long and lonely winter struggling for survive at last the snow melted away it was spring and the duckling was big and stronger than before he flew high in the air and he landed by a lovely lake surrounded by a magnificent white and graceful swans the ugly duckling thought that if the swans see him they will also make fun of his appearance he was ashamed of himself and bowed his head low as he bent his head he saw his reflection in the water and was astonished the ugly feathers were now snowy white his neck was curved and slender he had grown into a swan the other swans came towards him and stroked him with their beaks nearby children shouted with joy 
at the sight of him and threw him some bread crumbs he felt very happy to be with his friends i hope you enjoyed this story very much